intro and that music doesn't get you pumped and up and ready to clean and tackle something in your house, then I honestly don't know what will. Look at the mess and the state of our kitchen, the state of my son's bedroom. We are tackling those two spaces today and I love me a good 80s style feeling a song to just get me up and motivated and it's just so dramatic I just I just love it and it takes me back being an 80s baby and growing up in the 80s and 90s it just it brings me back and it gets me motivated to want to do something so if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna, and on my channel, I do all things homemaking, cleaning motivation, and just encouraging you in your mom life duties, your home making duties, whatever it is that you do, I am trying to encourage you in your home to tackle just a little bit every day. And I am very realistic on my channel. You will not always see the perfect before and afters in everything I do. You will see that today. My kitchen, it's not a perfect after shot, but it is so much better. And it is all about progress, not perfection. So if you are looking for some motivation today, you've come to the right place. We are cleaning up, we are decluttering, and we are organizing in two rooms in my house over two different days of cleaning. So let's go ahead and get started right here in the kitchen. towels get so used and abused here in my house so I was needing some more it looks like I have a bunch here but some of those really need to be weeded out but I use them till the very end so I had recently found these at TJ Maxx and they go perfectly with my kitchen and my decor and $9.99 for some good cotton hand towels I did not think was bad at all there was three in that pack so check out your local TJ Maxx if you are in the market for some hand towels they always have the cutest ones I feel like.
are in the throes of potty training without telling me you're potty training, I'll go first. This Resolve Urine Destroyer is amazing. Hands down, you need it. If you've got kids or you've got pets and you're dealing with accidents and urine of any sort, this stuff is amazing. We have unfortunately a ton of carpet in our house and I have been using this for years and it it eliminates the smell. I have not had any issues with smells, cleaning up accidents from my kiddos with this. So get your hands on that. I have it on both levels of our house, one upstairs, one downstairs for accidents all over the place. And it is just a great thing to have on hand if you have kiddos, young kiddos, and if you have pets. So get your hands on some of that right now. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. This was a Sunday afternoon, just kind of a quick tidy up refresh in our kitchen. I was literally getting ready to start dinner, so I didn't want to go crazy. So I just wanted to show you guys a realistic view. I got my veggies and my uh, fruit washed and I got things tidied up and then I had my sheet pan out I had my instant pot going and it was time to start dinner So I did not go crazy. So that is not a super Satisfying before and after of my kitchen, but it is very realistic of what was going on in our house Now you will have a very satisfying before and after in this room because this transformation will blow your socks off <laughs> At least I think it did. <laughs> I am so excited to share this project with you. This is my son's room. This is the state of it. And honest to goodness, this is not that bad. I know y'all have seen worse on my channel. I have shown you worse states of this room, but it was time. So soak in these before shots and then I will come back on here in just a second and explain what's about to go down. Hello and welcome to my messy <laughs> middle child's room. If you have been with my channel for any time, you know this is kind of like my Achilles heel in here. So we are going to do round 5,000 of tidying up this room. I've got some new bins for him. I've tried several different approaches and it just is overwhelming. This, this, this child, I don't know. I mean, I'm literally stepping and breaking Lego creations right now. Um, he loves to create with Legos, then he collects rocks and action figures. It is just a hot mess in here. So today, for a little while, my kids are all out of the house. I've got not very many hours because then I have to go get one of my children at about 1230. So I've got till about 1230. It's 930. I'm going to see if I can transform this room and also hopefully spring clean and deep clean this room. I'm trying to spring clean, declutter, organize throughout my house, kind of one space, one room, one drawer at a time. So today we are doing a big one. This is a biggie. So I am just focusing in my middle child's room. We're going to declutter toys declutter things and try to reorganize for him and maybe a better system for him. I keep trying different things. We're going to try a different approach. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to make this bed just to make it look a little more tidy and then we're going to dive in.
it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold So many of you guys can relate, but projects like this with big decluttering or reorganizing or anything like that, it can be so overwhelming. I always have moments like this where I'm just like in sheer overwhelm, but just getting started, just get going. And once you do, it kind of snowballs. You just get that momentum and you just kind of push through it. But I know that starting is always the hardest part. So just pick one section, one area, get going, and you'll be amazed at what that momentum truly does create within you. And you just keep pushing and keep going. One bin, one piece, one section, one room at a time.
wanna drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. The current state <laughs> of my son's room. A little overwhelmed. <laughs> But there's, there's a method to it. This is turtle stuff, and he wants this thing to be out. So once I'm done cleaning and getting everything together, I will put this over here. Probably, probably right where it is. Then we've got, let's see, a random Jenga game. Dress-up stuff. All his turtles and Spider-Man stuff. This castle is going to go in his closet. Some of this is going to go in his closet, and it's stuffed animals. He's got a little basket for when he's upset or frustrated. So that'll probably go back in his closet. Art, arts and drawings and coloring, all of that. Uh, he's got some library books, but then this is just all books. All of his books. Turtle stuff right here. These are random fidget gadget things I know he plays with. That's more turtle stuff in that thing. This is all action figures and figures that go with the castle. And then these are all empty or there's stuff in it that's going up in his closet. And then all of his Legos are right here. Extra bags that things were in. Anyway, so that's just kind of where I'm at right now. I am going to deep clean because I'm trying to spring clean, deep clean in here as well while I have everything out. So I'm going to get the new bins. I'll show you guys. And then this is stuff that's going downstairs or to his brother's room or sister's room. And I've got my cleaning supplies out here. All right. So I went to Dollar Tree and got a bunch of different things. And I wanted to try out. I loved this size. This size was perfect. I wasn't sure if I wanted white or these are kind of more clear. I ended up deciding to go with the clear. I even tried these out, but they just weren't as big and didn't hold as much and so these are going back and I'm gonna keep these um, I if you've been around for a little while you know I don't like to buy much organizational things but sometimes it is warranted in the bins that are in his toy uh, I'm trying to see if I can do this one-handed okay the bins that are in here that were in his toy organization are like seven years old and you can kind of see the state of them let's see if i can get this in here i mean look at the state of these they are completely falling apart but they will still hold things so what i'm going to do is just move them in his closet to hold toys he's not playing with at the moment but they will look so much better with these so i'm going to continue working but i just kind of wanted to show you a Maybe midway through. I don't know if I'm fully midway through, but I'm getting close. That's a good fight, and I know it is my time. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be Wow <laughs> look at the different colors I wonder if that's from dust or that would just pry from the setting there. A lot of 
little hanger from Christmas. Just little Lego pieces. This is not as bad as I thought, but I did grab all the big things as I was pulling everything out. This is just a lot of that rug dust, uh, wool from the rug. Oh, ball. So I'm going to clean all this up and then put it back and we'll start organizing this cube organizer. for cleaning those pesky lampshades when it's always so hard to dust I feel like I just get more dust stuck on if I use a duster use a lint roller to do your lampshades that has been a game changer I just found out about this trick and it has been working so well when you use those cloth dusters or just any kind of normal duster on the actual shade itself it just seems to create dust more dust and it causes it to stick so try out a little lint roller next time when you're dusting your lampshade died so while it did that it was charging while it was charging I put some of my son's books away and I, I sorted through the books so I just thinned it out put some of them back up here because we have books here and then I got this tote down I'm gonna go through this anything I think I, he's really not playing with I'm gonna move into this basket and move it into another location see if it's asked for and if it's not asked for then I'm going to donate it and then I am going to try to move, clear this bin completely out. It's so heavy. And then I'm going to just put toys he's not playing with, kind of rotate them into these bins and then put them back up here. I may try to go through if I have time. These two bins and see if there's anything Dallas wants to play with. Those were kind of like hand-me-downs to Dallas. So I need to see if there's anything up there. So that's where we're at. And then I finish, I just wipe down these shelves put um, a couple of things in the bins. I'll go through all that here in a minute. Lightning strikes by my window It's my chest right in the morning
This is going in like a little, we shall see, bin. So you guys know I keep it very real on my channel and I share my struggles with you and I've shared the struggle of this room, my middle child's room with you guys so many times and I have tried many different methods and they just keep seeming to fail or just not work as well as we had hoped. So I am pleased to announce that this has been in place at least almost two and a half, three weeks so far. And he really has been doing so much better. When he came into his room after I did this, he said, wow, mama, it looks like a brand new room. And that just warmed my heart because I, I do this for them to set them up for success. I want them to learn how to keep things organized, have systems and methods that help them with their things and also teach them to declutter and let go of things. I have had comments before that I need to quit buying my kids so much stuff all the time all year round it's too much stuff and I've had people tell me you know you're the parent you tell them you know how things should be and what they should keep or I can't even remember you know you you get all kinds of interesting comments people giving their opinions which I am a very I, I'm I wouldn't say I'm super thick skinned, but I've gotten to really get used to just comments and take them with a grain of salt. But also people are not getting the full picture and I am not buying my children new toys all year round, all the time. All the, I have not bought my children all of these things. They've been given things. And a lot of times like this child in particular, he doesn't get rid of things. He plays with stuff and he doesn't want to keep it. So I am trying to teach him that when he is done using things, let's declutter and pass it along. It is a process. It is not a one and done thing. It is not a sprint. It is a marathon. And this is just life lessons I'm teaching my kids and teaching them also that you can set up systems and methods and they don't work and you change them or you tweak them or you throw them out and start all over. Whatever needs to happen. I'm just trying to teach my children how to organize and declutter and do the best they can and just teach them this for success in the future. But this is not about me buying them toys all the time or them running the household because I can assure you that is not the case in my household if you know me and my family at all. But it's just funny because everyone has their own opinion and they are entitled to it, but I find it funny that sometimes people really want to give those negative opinions when they really don't understand or know. But let me know in the comments below, what is an area or a child that you have that you struggle with their space? Do you guys have a child whose space is just particularly difficult for you for one reason or the other. They have too much stuff or they don't want to let go of things or you just can't figure out the right method. Let me know in the comments below or maybe it's not a child's space, but it is a space in your home that just gives you trouble. It is just a harder space to organize, keep clean or keep decluttered. Tell us in the comments below. Let me know I'm not alone, guys. <laughs> let me know that you have areas or children's rooms that you struggle with too. Comment 
comment below, let me know and share it with everybody. Or if you did have an area like this and you figured out a method or system, please share that with us because I am always excited to hear how you guys do things too. I share how I do things and what works in our house. Share with us what's working for you. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights. Just keep on wasting. Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around. Drown in our fights and what? see that dirt all down these walls so I'm gonna wipe that down real good keep on hoping somehow we can make this all right just keep on trying glass after glass I keep hoping you'll come around drown As we are nearing the end, I just want to go ahead and make sure that I thank you guys for being here and for sticking around. If you made it all the way to the end, put a tulip in the comments below. It's nice and spring out there, I hope, for you guys. And so give me a tulip. Let me know you made it to the very end. I'm going to leave you guys with these wonderful, this is where we started. These are the before and the satisfying after is to come. And then I will quickly walk you through kind of how I organized his toy bin system. But thank you guys so much for being here. If you would 
Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Before you leave, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you in our YouTube community and comment below, share my video. All of these things are free, easy ways that you can help out my channel and just help pass me along to someone else who I might be able to encourage. And I just cannot thank you enough for being here. And I will see you guys in my next video where we are continuing to clean, declean, clutter and organize one little space at a time. All right, we're taking a closer look. Here are my son's books. I put them all together, tidied them up, and put a lot of them up into his closet. Here is his little art and kind of learning bin. I just tidied it up. He's got little scripture cards in here that he's gone through, through school, learning you know, his alphabets and sounds. He's got stickers and all of his art supplies, drawing pads, drawing pens, pencils, crayons, coloring books, you name it. That was everything we put in this bin. This next bin was just some dinosaurs and a robot, but he plays with that. I think the biggest thing with all of this was everything had a bin. Like this is all of his dress up stuff and it has a bin and a home. And then I'm gonna come back in and put those labels on it as well to further help him keep it organized. This was literally like randoms, but it's in a bin together and he knows the random things go in here. His ball, his little mini Jenga set, his, these are all like little fidgets and a slingshot and just random like jacks and things like that. This system really helped him because everything had a specific bin and everything wasn't just thrown in random bins with no organization. His Legos had their own container, so I left that that way. He has a bin for action figures and he has other types of action figures. He can switch those out at any time. And then he has a set bin for all of his turtle things because this stuff is what gets overwhelming and everywhere. He knows now where they all are. This is all the teeny weeny accessories. They all go inside this tin and then all of his action turtle figures go inside that bin and he can take that bin out and go over to his little turtle layer and play with it. And it just works out so much better and then one other thing I did that I don't think I showed you in this shot but I designated a drawer right there in his bed in this storage bed for the Lego creations that he has made and that has really helped out tremendously is having a place for his Lego creations. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of the new and improved middle child's room and until next week friends take care.